Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you something really really cool. I'm going to show you how to make paper out of elephant poo. This is something incredible. Um, in this place uh, they are um, recycling elephant poo and um, other materials in order to make uh, paper. Um, everything is done uh, by hand. Uh, there are no machines. Uh, it's still an old technique and it's really really cool to see. Let's have a look. They are the fiber by themselves, that means yes, they can make a paper, but just only right now. Right now, we're gonna mix them up with elephant poo to make a paper get more stronger. Because elephant poo is such a big fiber and strong fibers, they're true, but they're not quite sticky. They get quite loose. This small fiber like this, this fine fiber like this, you gotta go up inside there and stick every piece up to be a paper. So basically, they, they act themselves like a glue, something like that. Okay. So now we got the raw ingredient, elephant poo, but uh, I'm gonna tell you that, I mean it's dry, right? So, come up. <laughs> Welcome to the hell kitchen. A totally hell kitchen, I'm gonna tell you, yeah? So, now we're gonna do something like this. First thing first, we're gonna clean them. You're not gonna get the poo and gonna strain it here. No, don't do it like that. When you got the poo, you need to clean them with the water over there for five times. In the drum over there, five drum. One, two, three, four, five. Why clean with the water first? Because you have to know that elephant, in, inside the pool there, there is a rock, there is a sand, there is a dirt, and of course you don't want a big rock and a bunch of sand to go inside the paper, right? So we clean those things out with the water, five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then only the fiber, only the grass. You're gonna boil in here for three hours. Three hours. Make them soft, make them clean, kill all the bacteria. Yes, kill the bacteria is that's important. And then we got the fiber that ready to make the paper. I believe this one has been boiling since six, so this one is seven, uh, nine and fifteen minutes already. So three hours and fifteen minutes. I think it's good now. Just smell. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. It's nothing. As long as you don't lick it, it's nothing, right? <laughs> so yes, this is soft, this is clean, ready to make a paper. But before we're gonna let them dry, let's talk about this soup over here. Yes, this do this soup, this water over here. This water is dirty. Yes, very really dirty. But are we gonna throw this water away? Yeah. This water, we're gonna give them to the tree, to the plant as a fertilizer. You can keep the whole shell as a fertilizer too, but we're gonna use the fiber inside to make a paper, so keep them only in the water. And that means everything we do in here go to recycle. Nothing is going to waste at all. Everything can go to the nature. Alright. Next one. Let this fiber dry. Dry under the sun for about six hours. Half a day, six hours, but if no sun, a bit cloudy, take about a couple of days to dry. It could be like that in the back. <laughs> Okay, let's go see you there. Okay, so mm, now we're gonna make a paper. All right, we're gonna make a paper, but before we're gonna make a big piece of paper like you see over there, I mean, you have to make the actual paper first. Actual paper, and yep, this is the actual paper, and we call them pool balls. I mean, it's a pool, it's from pool, and it's a ball, so yeah, we're gonna make a pool ball. <laughs> Mine might not look very good, but this thing gonna be your paper, trust me, okay? But how gonna make that pool ball? Look over here. We're gonna need about four ingredients. Four main ingredients. Number one. Yeah, yes, it's gonna be elephant poo. That's the main ingredient. One, elephant poo. Two, the fiber from the crop or another fiber. Like you see over here, coconut is down there. Uh, sugar cane down there. Or oh, up here we got a barberry fiber too. Or any plant that you can find in your country or in your local, like uh, even sugar cane, banana, pineapple, rice, corn, potato. If you have a hemp, use the hemp. That's one very good too. Yeah, just use all the one that you don't need anymore. That's the number two. Number three. Well, here's one. Recycle paper. Yes, the finished one. Cut it out. Make decoration. Make your ticket. 
make just everything. I believe this one gonna be a, a cup holder. Yes, if you've got a coffee in the coffee shop over there, it's a cup holder, it's elf and pool. Yes. There's no pool inside coffee, don't worry. Yeah. So, this is number three, but just pick all the color you need. If you want to make red, you pick only red. Make blue, only blue. Make green, only green. But the color is still quite weak. Color is not enough. You need to add more color. So we're gonna add this color. Food color. Can you eat food color? No. No? Yes, that's right. Yes, we can eat the food color. It's non-toxic. It's good for the nature. Yes, you can eat the paper. Don't eat the paper. <laughs> I mean, it can doesn't I mean it should, all right? It's just to be safe for you guys to try to make a paper. And also, when we wash all the water down, those water going to be planted in the tree. It's non-toxic. So it's safe. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah, by the way, it's a powder. It's a powder. But why powder? Okay, first thing first, elf, uh, this, uh, what they call a uh, food color. They have two types, liquid and powder. If you use a liquid, the liquid is gonna wash away with the water. I mean, they're not stay, but if I use the powder like this, they're gonna stick inside the fiber. The crystal is gonna sink in there and they're not gonna come off. How? I'm gonna show you. All this, go inside this machine over here. Add clean water or tap water also fine. Put it in and then we're gonna run this machine for about two hours. Like this. You see here. This water over here gonna take everything, go in, in the front, go in by the water, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, and out in the back. Circle around to the front again. Going on like this again and again and again and again and again for two hours. Two hours this machine running. Mixing? Sure. The main purpose is mixing. But cutting? No. They're not meant to cut. They're meant to pull. It's gonna pull everything apart. It's gonna tear everything up. Turn everything to be the smallest form of fiber. Or what you call them? A pop. I'm gonna show you first, but after that, it's gonna be your turn how we're gonna make it. Today we have three color. Uh -huh. So, this is what you need to make a paper. Number one, the ball. Number two, the tray. Number three, the brick. Number four, water. Number five, music. <laughs> you, you don't need it. Just kidding, you don't need it, alright? Just need four of this. If you have four of it, yes, you can make a paper bag at home. Just find one elephant. <laughs> Do we have elephant at home? No. Mom, can we keep elephant at home as a pet, please? No. Okay. <laughs> they eat a lot, yeah. So, first thing first, we're gonna put the tray down, like that. Yep, put it down. You're gonna see that this tray is flo kind of like floating around. Don't let it go. Use your hand to hold them up in the place, like this. Hold them up. Use the brick. Pull it up again. Don't sink it down. Let them float up like that. When they float up, lock them up again. Pick up the ball. Break the ball in half. Just half. This one go on the top. This one go on the bottom. And after that, kind of make your hand like this. Use your finger just as a, like a claw. And try to shake it in the poop. I mean, take the paper. Just make them go everywhere. What they call like dissolve them. Yeah, dissolve them inside the water. Make it go breaking down as small as possible. The more you shake, the more smooth paper we can make. Yes, make it go to everywhere. Make it go to the corner, to the edge, to the window, to the wall. Make it go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but of course it's gonna be a little big hole like this. We don't need this hole, so we try to close the hole. Okay, closing the hole. Make sure there's no hole around. It's a big clump, shake it more. Okay, I can get rid of this hole. So I can find a solution. Make your hand like this, like a flat like this, and then just just tap it. Just tap it. Just gentle tap it. Don't slip down. Don't dip your hand down. You're gonna make a hole. And don't rush. At this point, don't rush. Just like you're taking a poop, you're not gonna rush. <laughs> you're gonna make a mess, of course, yeah? Just gentle with them, alright? Gentle, gentle. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's good, that's good. No whole rail, quite more even now. No big clump, so I'm gonna pull it up. Don't take the brick out. 
the brick stay there, all right? If you take the brick out, this tray is gonna start moving and they're gonna break down the formation of the paper. So we're gonna pull it up instantly. Three, two, one. There you go. Wow. Yes, now we've got the paper that's sticking inside the tray. But how sticky it is, as you can see, 45 degrees not falling down. 90 degrees, no, no problem. But don't try to do a backflip. <laughs> like Daily Queens, like no, don't do it like that. When you're done, just hold it up like this. It's the brick. Now hold it up like this. Yeah. Let it drain the water from the top to the bottom. And of course, after this, we're gonna let them dry. So this is a dry paper. Yes, everything stick inside the tray. It's quite rough. It's quite hard. Feel it. Touch it. Touch it. It's very rough. Everything is stick inside the tray. Okay, you can there. Yes. Now, put your poop down. Your first poop paper. You can take a picture of them too. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna take this paper out before we're gonna go to DIY. All right. Now we can take it out. Easy one. You see here, they stick inside the tray with a good, not falling down. I'm gonna turn to the back. I'm gonna push on the top. I want you to try to listen. Just listen. Sound gonna be like. Not so. It's gonna be quite satisfying. Mm -hmm. Now the top is coming loose. Turn to the front. Scratch it out on the corner. Just one. And another one. Go, come over here. Boy, come over here. You hold this corner, you hold this corner. And then we peel it out together, all right? Slowly together. Wait for your mom taking a picture right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you peel it back. Yeah, go, guys. Smell the paper? It's just nothing. I mean, it's just a paper right now. This paper, yes, handmade paper. We can turn them to be a product. And that product, you can make it by your design too, by your hand. We're gonna go to DIY over there. And yes, let's do whatever we want. Let's go. Right now you are at DIY. Yes, do it yourself. You can make whatever you want in here. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff. From the big journal, small journal, bookmark, photo frame, big fan, small fan, even a passport holder. Yes, the passport holder from Hopefully you enjoyed the experience of um, learning how to make paper out of uh, poo. It's uh, really, really interesting. This is how they were actually making paper in the old times. And I also got one of these stickers in here, made out of poo. It's just awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.